Last week, the day after President Trump signed an executive order to undo the efforts of his predecessor to combat climate change, the Committee on Science, Space and Technology held an audience that encapsulates all that is wrong with how it that U.S. lawmakers handle science. Global warming is a time-sensitive threat. Greenhouse gases accumulate in the atmosphere, threaten a sharp rise in heat waves, droughts and floods in the middle of the century, and eventually the melting and collapse of ice sheets at Earth's poles. However, last week's audience, entitled Climate Science, Assumptions, Policy Implications, and the Scientific Method and presided over by Texas Republican Lamar Smith, meandered from one tangent to another. But does this decrease the evidence that carbon dioxide emissions are a threat? Republicans dwelt in the distractions that have bogged down politics for years, such as a shattered historic real fact about scientists previously predicting an ice age, and an overly optimistic interpretation of a flattening of the global temperature time curve. The latter, sometimes called the pause, was hailed as a sign that global warming was over. It is not. But some legislators seemed interested in exploring the subtleties of the scientific method applied to climate research. Democrats are directing almost all of their questions to Mann, who, of the four scientists called as expert witnesses, was the only one to clearly express conventional views on the connection between man-made greenhouse gases and climate change. Republicans gave most of their attention to the other three, and expressed mostly hints suggesting that Mann and his fellow climatologists were unreliable.